This is the Logitech Brio 100, and this is the kind of footage you can expect. In a completely dark room with no monitors switched on, then we can kind of be seen, but don't use it like this. When our PC monitors are switched on, then this brings an improvement, and would do the job for a quick video call with someone when quality really isn't a factor. With natural light coming in through the window, and the first thing is that we are overexposed on the side of our face where the window is, which I was kind of expecting. The overall image quality doesn't look amazingly crisp, Crisp, but we do get a narrow field of view of 58 degrees, meaning that not too much of your background will be on display. The exposure can be manually configured in OBS, and it will help a little, but highly recommended not to sit directly next to the window. Movement does look as though we are getting those 30 frames per second that this webcam is capable. Using a small ring light works pretty well, but we do look quite blurry on this camera, and it gets worse the closer we get. It looks as though you will need to be a foot or so away from the lens, which could be a challenge for some laptop users, not noticing any bending on the size of the image, which will be due to it having such a narrow field of view. Using a pair of ring lights and the auto exposure seems to be doing a good job with this. There is quite a lot of flickering and pixelation happening mainly in the background, but the colour representation seems good. We are still not looking crisp though. It will be better than an inbuilt webcam, but it isn't great quality, which once again gets worse if you come closer to the lens, so you will want some distance between yourself and the Brio 100. Switching on backlights work fine with no reflection from the lights back onto us. The extra light behind does help a little with the flickering in the background, but not much, and it doesn't help with making us more clear. As this is a fixed focus lens, then you will need to be a good 12 inches, maybe even more away, for things to be in any kind of focus. Bringing it closer will just make things look blurry. Removing a green screen in OBS looked okay initially, until you look back on OBS and all this flickering shouldn't be there. We can play Play around with the sliders which looks better in the preview but when we actually see it then there's more flickering on our chair so be prepared to play around with your lighting and sliders as this is not going to be great straight out of the box. This is a microphone test using the Logitech Brio 100. This is the kind of audio you can expect from the inbuilt microphone. The Logitech Options Plus software will give you some basic controls if you're not an OBS user to adjust things like brightness but currently not the exposure. If you have a thin bezel on your screen then it will overhang which will block some of the top part of your screen, so this is a nightmare for browser tabs. It can be tilted up and down but no rotation is available, a privacy cover is inbuilt and there is no mounting hole available to put it onto a tripod.